As far as I'm concerned, I think, I think KW Michelin plus BBS is like the holy trinity. The three of those brands together just feel right. So the time has come. Wheels, coils, suspension. Uh, what feels like an eternity after ordering my wheels. Um, it's finally time to put them on. So a quick little story time before I, before I show you something. I ordered these wheels in May of 2019, right? I got them in November of 2019. Then, you know what? I figured, let's wait. Let's wait until the next spring, install them, you know, because it's gonna be a short winter. It looks like it's gonna be mild. Um, trying to be patient, trying to be a grown up about it. You know, let's just wait. Okay, then 2020, pandemic hits, right? So I just don't see a point in, in putting them on just yet. You know, everybody's fearing that the world's gonna end, including me, you know, anxiety, stress. You know how it goes. So don't even do it, right? So at that point, I've now had them planned for more than a year. So now they've been planned for a year, you know, fast forward to, um, I guess now, which is September after a lot of delay and just a lot of things going on this summer, even though there was a pandemic, I just couldn't find the time to do this stuff. Um, but I finally ordered the suspension and then bam, wouldn't you know, ordered the suspension and it is also on back order. So now I have to wait for the suspension. So I ordered the suspension, I think back in May of this year, 2020. And basically it didn't get here until the end of August. So there's that. And so here we are, end of September, and I am finally putting the wheels on. So they're in my basement right now so I could coat them in a very controlled environment. Uh, you know, these are, these are awesome wheels and I don't want them to get messed up. So without further ado, BBS LMR. 323s and 322s. So here are the four of them. They are ready to go. Gonna bring them to the shop today and get the suspension on. So suspension wise, uh, let me break it down for you. I'm going with KW uh, Variant 3s which uh, were made to order apparently for these cars, so I had to wait. But uh, my car has the magnetic ride, so it's going to disable the mag magnetic ride, and I'll show those later. It, comes, it actually comes with the cancelers uh, that you plug right into the harness, then you tuck them away under the wheel well and you're good to go. Uh, shouldn't have any problems there. The reason why they're mounted and balanced already is so that when you coat them, you don't have to worry about worrying that the weights won't stick when you go to balance them. So. We, me and my brother-in-law yesterday at the shop, we mounted these up. They're Pilot, Sp Pilot Sport 4S tires. So, you know, some of the best tires money can buy for the street all around. Um, so we mounted them, we balanced them, and then I brought them here. And that's when I started going at them with the wax and grease remover. And then after I went at it with the wax and grease remover, Gina helped me coat it with some ceramic coating that I got online, um, went with C-Quartz Deluxe. So I think it should hold up really well and kind of just, just add a little bit of peace of mind that I won't destroy these wheels um, if I have to daily drive on them because the TT, again, is my daily driver. So it's gonna get road grime. You know, it's gonna go back and forth from Long Island to New York to New Jersey, all over the tri-state constantly. So I just wanted to make sure everything was protected. The car is protected with Ceramic Pro and SunTech films. So just add a little layer of that protection. Um, next thing I gotta do is protect the engine bay though because I've been, I've been kind of slacking there. Let's just go to the shop and get these on because I'm too freaking excited to wait any longer. It's been way too long. All right, so we're at the shop now. Um, got one side apart. I won't bore you guys with the details on the disassembly. I'll just go over really quick how many bolts. It's like very easy. It's as easy or easier than the Mark IV, I'd say. But um, yeah, it just drops right out. Three bolts at the top. Then you gotta take out the end link here. 
Let me make sure I can see. Take out the bolt on the end link, top of the end link. Take out the bolt on the knuckle. And then if, as long as you support the drive shaft, because it does telescope a bit, then you'll be okay. But then you basically separate this. And in order to do that, you use this guy, which you've seen in the other video. Um, I highly suggest getting one of those things. It is a godsend. Um, instead of you know banging on the knuckle or trying to separate with a screwdriver or anything like that, they make this tool. You can get on Amazon for like a couple bucks. I'll add a link in the description. So here's the OEM strut. And I have mag ride, so this does have the connector down here. Uh, so this is coming out. You've got to reuse the strut tops, and I think the sleeve will come with it, which will help to protect the um, the new stuff. I went with variant threes. And some of you may ask, well, why not club sports? Well, this car is going to be on the street. It's not going to be on the track as much. It might be a little bit, but it's mostly a street car. So these are a little bit more compliant. Um, they're cheaper as well. And um, I think, you know, KW has a tremendous reputation in the German car world. And, you know, I think in the suspension world in general, they've proven themselves. Uh, a little bit about what's in the box. So we got the two fronts. Two rears, these are fully adjustable uh, rebound and um, compression. They are stainless steel bodies, so they prevent corrosion. Um, they actually even use plastic um, perches in the front here to help prevent even more of the uh, seizing. Any of you guys who have coilovers before will be familiar with trying to adjust a coilover that's been on the car for a few years, it's been daily driven. And you know, the metals, you know, they may be dissimilar, but they'll still seize against each other. The plastic will help to kind of alleviate that a bit. Um, the rears are aluminum, but hopefully we won't have that trouble there. You know, famous last words. Um, comes with this little tool kit, which basically just gives you the wrenches, little instruction manual, and an adjuster. This is, I believe, for the the fronts, I believe this is for the front rebound. And then this as well, which is a little tool. I haven't really dug into what these all do, but uh, new dust caps and some zip ties. Oh, zip ties are for these. So these are actually for the, the magnetic ride. So because I have a magnetic ride right now, uh, these are plugged into the car. And basically you can right now press a button on the dash that changes the driving mode and this will harden or soften the suspension. It's got like a magnetic fluid inside that will tighten up and change the dampening. Um, these are not adjustable in terms of dampening that way. They're manually adjustable, you know, with these knobs and stuff like that, but they are not automatic. And so what these do is these plug into, these plug into the harness and basically help to tell the computer that everything's all right so that you don't get any weird lights on the dash. And um, yeah, hopefully they work pretty well. I've heard some weird stories about these sometimes not communicating properly, but um, we'll see. I'm sure KW will make good if anything. But yeah, that's basically it. Pretty straightforward. All right, so this side's in the car. And still gotta connect up the chassis control things and also tighten some stuff up, but they're in. And man, they're looking pretty. Don't mind the dirty uh, caliper. I'm gonna clean that, and I'm also gonna coat it to go along with the new wheels. But man, it looks good. They're all the way down right now for maximum stakes. No, just kidding. I'm just going to keep them low so that I have a baseline, and then once I get it off of this lift, hopefully, and I bring it over here to align it, and then I'll uh, I'll dial in the, the height there just before I align it. I have one other thing I want to talk about. So I picked up these bushings from 34. These go in between the subframe and the body. I'll show you. So there are four mounting bolts for the subframe. There's one behind the subframe connector right here, one here, and then there's two that you get through the control arms. So. Um, this may be a future past video sort of time machine situation, but 
I got the uh, the downpipe from APR in the car. So I've taken down the subframe in order to do that. And I put it all back up with new OEM bolts. But there's, you know, there's some kind of trick to aligning the subframe with the factory bolts because they have these shins. And uh, it could be a tough time. I think we got it on point. We didn't even align the car afterwards because I was gonna be doing this now. And so, the car drove straight and true and everything, so I think we got it pretty close with using the witness marks on the body. Basically, when you take down a bolt, it's like where the washer was before or the nut head was touching before and it leaves a little mark. They call those witness marks. So with that, you can, uh, you can kind of try and locate it and that's what we used to locate that and the ball joints and everything when we took that apart. So it's kind of all just hand aligned right now just to get it driving straight. But I'm gonna do a true alignment now with the coilover setup. And so because of that, I'm doing these. And so, I don't know if you could see. Yeah, you can see it here. These little spacers that O34 makes have these little kind of like centering divots and that helps to keep the subframe straight. Um, so there's like kind of like, almost like a uh, idiot proof way to align the subframe and then that way you know in the future if you take it down all you have to do is replace the bolts and you're good to go you know which you know i fully plan to do because in the future i might do a sway bar if i start taking it to the track or i might do a tubular subframe if i start going crazy you never know but that allows me to always make sure i can align the subframe without problems so yeah just a little extra thing that's it for parts i think yeah no other parts Here's in, strut, see what it looks like installed, snazzy, stainless steel, like everything, it got late, it always gets late, um, alright, let me lower this, so I can show you the rest of it. See in here now we got the the cancelers they just get kind of like wire tied in there not not the biggest fan of the way they do this uh, get a focus in there there you go so they just ask you to wire tie it to the uh, the bracket on the um, on the top of the spindle here and then other than that it's basically just this little cylinder with something inside that helps to tell the computer that everything's fine uh, the back ones are tucked away behind the, the fender liner, which is nice. But, um, yeah, just a little wire tied thing. Nothing crazy. So, I have these set right now at the lowest setting. Uh, we'll see where it sits. And then adjust from there. And then alignment. I don't know if that's all going to happen today, but it's going to happen this weekend. So. Tomorrow. Today we dial it in. I'm gonna get the wheels on, it's gonna look sick. Left it here overnight to settle. I'm gonna go take it around the block to make sure it doesn't settle any further. It's pretty low. This is actually the lowest that KW allows for. With the other meat, I might have to go a little bit higher. We'll see. Key is I do not want any rubbing at all. <laughs> 